most of my work is inspired from like oral culture from my own country. I'm from India and we are full of stories, folk tales, folk music and myths and legends about gods, monsters and all these things. So growing up I've been like really obsessed with that. So all of my projects start from somewhere with this idea of mysticism and magic. With my photography and my work, all I try to do is relive the stories that I've heard during my childhood. I want people to experience the mysticism, the feeling of being surreal, being larger than life, and it's an experience to look at it, talk about it, interact with it. I'm working with textiles and ceramics. The inspiration is coming from daily uh, observations that I have and past experiences and of course being an islander. Uh, but more specifically I can say that Timothy Morton's hyperobject term uh, meaning a phenomenon so vast that it is beyond human comprehension my teacher suggested me this All Art is Ecological book by Timothy Morton and I came across this term and I was like, okay, it's fast fashion, this is what I'm doing, I'm making garments, I have a passion for this and I'm changing my habits towards like what I'm buying or wearing because as I researched I came across to this uh, information that every day, uh, every time we wash, domestically wash our clothes, um, these microfibers are mixing the waterways and even when we are wearing these clothes they are floating and we're breathing and they're adding up to microplastics and really affecting our health and for me this is a hyper object i made the dress that i'm wearing here are uh, a bunch of threads that i use even on the sides of this dress and i like that it looks like a seaweed maybe I want the audience to feel the ocean through my installation. It is really important for me to give a glimpse of it or just a feeling of it. I like to connect insects to people and as well as emotions. If you look at an insect up close, it's like a little gem. It's like a little jewel that wasn't uh, brushy. You haven't found it yet. You would have the movie about three bugs and it was just people dressed in costumes as insects walking around acting as insects which in that like there was no said word or anything but it all made sense to me as a child and later as I started getting into my practice working with different themes of nature and topics surrounding insects I started looking into like artists that would work with movement uh, like Rebecca Horn creating these beautiful extensions of her body. It's a lot about like this imaginative world that I like to work with. And I think in a way that as a child and even as an adult, I connected to insects a lot on a personal basis. Um, and these days I collect them, observe them, get fascinated by them. And a lot of times inspired by these different patterns, colors, movements and shapes that they bring into the world. My work is generally about exploring liminal spaces, this kind of in-between place that we're all living in, between the physical and the digital, and the virtual and the non-virtual, and the, the weirdness that exists in that space that we're all like in constantly without thinking about it. Surrealism was a big influence on me for a while. These days more internet art, like the early internet artists like Olya Lialina, um, and land art is a big influence for me, like Robert Smithson, I love him. I started collecting cassette tapes recently, um, not like studio produced cassette tapes, but like people's mixtapes. And the other day I was walking home and like on a ledge of the building next to my building were like six cassette tapes just sitting there. Um, and I kind of just happen on things like that and that's how things start. Often it's things I see online, usually like old forgotten forums and websites or text threads that I think are interesting and I feel like I need to do something about always try to get people to physically interact with my work because I want to create experiences. 
I'm not excited by things that are just on a wall or making things that are just to be shown on a wall. Um, the artists that have inspired me the most throughout this process are Art Oliver Large and Josh Keith. I think Oliver Large has worked pretty nicely with the concept of hybridity, not only on his subjects, but also with his materials. He works with sculpture as well as 3D printing. And Josh Keys has um, a really cool way to dabble on social commentary with his paintings, such as the ones in which he paints graffiti on icebergs. In my work, I have also been tapping into the idea of hybridity. I've been um, kind of constructing my own contribution to the fossil record by creating these man-made fossils that have human elements to them, such as temporary tattoos that I apply onto clay and piercings. I like to make art that will kind of pinch people's humor a bit. I want people to just see it as like a take on their own relationship with technology and with um, media.